first we have to service Congress. That's our f number one goal, to take care of their needs. We, we handle such really tight deadlines. Congress, they sit up there, they send us copy here at 2 or 3 in the morning, and we still give them the record early in the morning. Okay? And I tell you, Congress is responsible to give us the information, and we in turn put that information together and give it back to them, okay, so they can have it on the floor when they need it. Bills, reports, hearings, all the different documents of government. And it's a pretty intensive process, but we do it every night, and we have the personnel that can do that. This is a congressional record. The congressional record prints every day that Congress is in business. Okay. This is the Senate part, and this is the House part. Okay. This is the actual manuscript that comes in from the Hill. Okay. This is what we use to actually set the type. They count the manuscript as inches. If you take a ruler, you count how many inches. That could be six inches, that could be eight inches, and that could be another inch. That could be 12 inches of copy okay, for one session of, of Congress. One of the special areas in the bindery is our um, library binding, where we do restoration of books. We do all the special books, bindings for, for the White House, for Congress. We do marbling, and very few people do that in the country anymore. But it's all hand, and it's, it's a craft, but it's a different set of skills than the machine operators. And I've seen us go from labor-intensive, heavy manpower, equipment that takes a lot of skills to operate to move right to now where we are in the digital age. But you still need books that'll be here when you and I are gone for 100 years. We have to have those books documented. Yes, we'll go into digital files and we'll put everything on digital, but the way technology is, will that be safe? I don't know, all right? But the paper, when you print that document, okay, that journal, It'll be there forever.